Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. We're on our way to uh, get ready for the attack that is coming in any moment. Everyone's armed, here it comes. They're all getting back to their uh, fortification here. We've got a couple of scissor hands and a bunch of scarabai coming at us. Or over here, some. Oh, there they are. Oh, man. Imagine seeing that coming out of the dark. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. Whoa, too far. There we are. Everyone has been told where to go. Put them in position and ready. We've got three railgun snipers. So, four? One, two, three, four railgun snipers now. So, we've. Gonna, we've got a little bit of a distance advantage now. Just a matter of waiting for the first one to probably get into... Where is Rita? Yeah, right about there. Oops, oops. Wrong button. I accidentally sent Rita out there. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Rita, no. Aboard, aboard. No, don't go down there. <laughs> oh, and you can't tell them to... Uh, to ignore the misclicks. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, where are those scissor hands? They were probably out there bugging something. There they are. Right over there. Anyway, let's drop in kind of at their eye level. A lot of these guys have still got short range, so I have to wait for them to get closer to be able to do anything. Oh, we've got some uh, explosive ones in here, too. I forgot about that. Whoa, everything went blurry there. Oh, let's stun gun just... Whoa, phased the whole area. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna get this one. Oh, trap got him. Okay. Yeah, it's looking good. Let's come around this way. Oh, right there. And we finally have a damaged brick wall. They did pretty good. All the way to here. This far into it before anybody even got to the uh, got to the bricks. So, we are done? We're done. Well, that uh, wasn't even wasn't even significant. It didn't phase them at all. Too bad you guys lost your, your night of sleep. Um, let me clean this mess up and we'll figure out what we're going to do this episode. Okay, well that pretty much does it. Everything's cleaned up. Most are back up at the, uh, the house now. Umayar is the... Uh, the last remaining butcherer. He's just got the two left and then to pick up some remnants. Got the wall repaired, got the traps reset. Um, we have one torch left. Okay, so extinguish. Has this one been extinguished? It's run out of fuel. Okay. Double click, extinguish all. And whoever comes down, comes down. If I interrupt Umayar now, he won't pick up everything, so I'm just going to let him do his thing. Rita did a little bit of harvesting on her way up. Most everybody else I sent back to bed, though I see they're pretty much ignoring me. <laughs> Rita and Kana went to bed. So Umayar is transporting. Can you get the last one? You're transporting first. How about getting that one, and then you can transport. <laughs> Let's get the order right, or it doesn't work. Anyway, <clears throat> it's been over a week since I have recorded. Feels that way, too. Simon is delivering concrete. I told him to go and load up all the furnaces with ore for alloy. Robert wrote in and said, You know, you haven't tried the, uh, the windmills yet. And I was actually hoping that the research would show up for the I think I call it graphene or the, the carbon based windmills or turbines. Then it dawned on me as I was reading his comment, I probably don't get access to those until I've built at least one of these. So, okay. Let's build one of these. Um, where at? Boy, that wind just picked up. Over here or somewhere else? It doesn't really matter location wise as far as the function of it. The game doesn't recognize, you know, windy locations versus not. It's all the same. But, so at this point, it's probably just aesthetics. And 
uneven terrain. Doesn't like it in there. Okay. I don't want to be anywhere near this area. As long as it's connected to a pole, it could be just about anywhere. I don't know if it's going to... I don't know what the red is. Actually, I don't know what the red is. It's got a, a sphere of influence. Maybe they have done something to this that I'm not thinking of. And there actually is, you know, no trees blocking it within a certain range or something now. Don't know. Let's go with... Yeah, it takes out the, the tree turns green. Risk of meltdown, Paulette. So, Paulette, I told you to go to bed and you didn't do it, did you? So, over here, I guess this just is the perfect plant, or the uh, power generating area. It seems to be okay with these trees because they're planted intentionally. Okay. Do it. It's going to take 25 alloy. We have 7. So that's why I want Simon to get these loaded up. Um, Paulette, you were supposed to go to bed. You're getting something to eat. Okay, you eat, and then you sleep. Paulette, you are over here. How is everybody else? Average mood, crushingly unhappy. Average, average, good. Total happiness, kind of. And average mood. Okay, who built this snowman? doesn't tell me uh, maybe if I while I'm editing talking about Umayar or something maybe I'll notice somebody up where is it up there working on it anymore no yeah they're gonna enjoy doing that for the next few episodes winter has just begun um, <clears throat> we are free now of attacks theoretically for a while this is usually a good window to send someone out to go get stuff. And I don't know who's ready to go sleep-wise and what have you. Though sleep doesn't seem to be a problem. They can sleep while they're out. But I was interested in the tachyon source, which popped in last time. Radiation emitting from this location is causing sensor fluctuations. So I'd be curious to see what that's all about. <clears throat> I don't get the sense of needing a high physical to do it. There's something else going on, though. Hmm. That's probably a Rita thing, just so we can see what other species are out there. What is that? We have a UFO on the screen there. Um, the other one is military, and that one is just a weapon. So, no physical there either. Hmm. Um. Edmund? What's your stats right now? Actually, pretty good shape. You're more than half on everything. Let's f send you out. Expedition to the... Let's send you to the Tachyon source. Ah, uh, there we go. Edmund, just in case you get there to find out that there is something heavy to carry back. Uh, send Expedition. And then when Rita gets up... Actually, she's about there anyway, so let's get her... Was there something special that she enjoyed? She likes meat pie. I think there is one. There is. You do that, and then go and play some music. And then you should be ready to go and hopefully bring us back a, a railgun sniper or something. Carter is... He's partially constructing the wind turbine. We don't have enough alloy to do it, but he's bringing over the electronics, right? Yeah. Okay. Paulette's sleeping. Is she in better shape now? She's back to average. Good. We still have not had anybody break on this series. I'm hoping to finish the series that way. Wow. Um, that was interesting. It started to get dark, then it went bright again. Ah, some fluctuation in the atmosphere, we'll call it. <laughs> We've got... Oh, transporting wine. Okay, I was someone who was drinking wine. Umiar has... Pneumonia. That's the word I was trying to come up with. So, Paulette, you can treat Umiar. And that should get you out of bed and get a few things cooked before the day's over. So, you heal. 
and then you get back to whatever Rita is playing then she's going to take off on her trip Edmund is taking off right now he's still in decent shape he probably grabbed two meals of something still wish there was a way to see what he's holding in his hands they haven't added that no changes over the last update favorites hmm okay so Rita is there enough all right expedition uh, sending you to this one that's right Rita send uh, did I do that wrong no escape twice there that's better so Rita is playing and she will get the command next there she goes okay all the furnaces are going fuel is cooking we are reloading these guys. I think Simon is working on that right now. Kana is handling fermentation barrel. Um, not enough resources for all of these guys. That's why she's not working there. How are we on clothing? Limit reached on everything. So let's think about doling out some of that new armor. We haven't really needed it. Whoa, excuse me. See you, Rita. <laughs> um, Carter is hanging around. He is scavenging. Oh, he's up here. Okay. <clears throat> How do you choose who gets the best armor? I really don't know. Whoever is at the first of the list, just kind of work our way through it. When you're done, grab a carbon helm. Who would have the most fun wearing a helmet? Hmm. I'm thinking Simon needs that role. <laughs> yeah, when you're next available, you're transporting. Why don't you go pick up a carbon helmet? Carter, why don't you, when you're available, go pick up a carbon vest? Paulette, why don't you grab some carbon boots? Rita's gone. Simon, Kana, why don't you grab, when you're done handling... Uh, some carbon leggings. Who they are? You are really liking your leather vest, so let's not go there. We'll give you shoes or boots. Okay, well, there's one round. Eventually, we'll get them all in, in carbon, but that will give um, orders on this table as soon as they're picking them up for Kana to get back to work on that. Carter now has pneumonia. It is rolling through the encampment. So once Carter gets back and gets his vest, jacket, whatever that is, then he'll head to bed and Paul I can take care of him. I'm noticing some stars down here trying to get my attention. What is new in defense? Siren? Hmm. A loud device that attracts hostile animals when working. Oh, interesting. So what would you do with that? I mean, they're going to attract to this gate anyway. So what other use would it have? Let me know what your, what your thoughts are on that. Distract them by sending them out here for a while while you're getting ready? I don't know. Um, what was the other one? Lights and power? Uh... Tilted floodlights versus floodlights. Okay, lights up a wide area in front of itself while working. Oh, so you can aim them. Floodlights, I, I assume then you, you have to get into the middle. So, tilted floodlights. What was that noise? Oh, Carter, okay. Yeah, you get to aim where you want it. Oh, that's nice. So, if we could do something like that. Hmm... It's got to be there, which means it's going to be a target. But it would give them a better aim. Hmm. I have to think about that. It'd be nice to light this area up. Alright, so Carter went awaiting treatment. Okay. And that is Simon. Well, I wanted Paulette to do it, but she's a little busy and Simon's doing it, so fine. We'll, we'll go that route. So now Paulette needs a drink. 
Khan is tailoring because we've picked up some of the carbon armor. Simon is drinking. Carter's going to sleep the night away. Yeah, he'll be up early. He went to bed early. And we're ready to reload this again. Any more snowmen? No. It's fish materials. That is concrete. So concrete gets the next round. We're 2300, so Simon. Oh, small broadleaf bush. A small broadleaf bush. What is this bush called? That's a broadleaf bush. There's a small version somewhere. Okay. Well, that's what Rita just discovered out there. Just an ordinary bush. That could be cut down for sticks. I didn't notice anything else of interest. Okay. So we must be scratching the bottom of the barrel as far as discoveries for Rita. Not much newer out there. There were some other newer farming things that came with that update that I don't think we're, are here yet. Research the orbital radio. Okay. Um, anyways, bushes. So small evergreen, broadleaf trees. Oh, bushes are over here. Okay. So big and small, big and small. So basically a big and small variety of most everything. We don't have the big evergreen yet. Okay. So, stone, got a lot of stone, so making concrete is not going to be a problem. Uh, or, whoa, or, we've still got 130. So, what is that? Illness, Kana, you have pneumonia suppressed, so you need your second treatment. Okay, so you're heading to bed. Paulette is punching a bowl. I'll let you come on over here and take care of all that. Take care of Kana. Alright, Simon lectured Kana on critical thinking. Oh, I wouldn't I wouldn't go there, Simon. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Back to how are you doing right now? What was that? You have pneumonia immunity. Okay. Which means you have a boost. Lungs. Immunity. No, that boost is his movement. Okay, that's he, he normally walks faster. Anyway, you are... Oh, you're going to get your rest up, which is going to boost your happiness. Your relaxation is decent. Once you get up in the morning, can you load up all of the concrete? And <clears throat> Carter, you're still in bed. I guess I was expecting a little more since you went to bed so early, but I guess you didn't get any sleep last night because of the raid. And then you didn't go to bed afterward. Okay, so you were going to need the full night anyway, even with going to bed early. When you're done, you need to eat some bread if it exists. It does not. Wow. Yeah. Expedition complete. Let's do that again. Just veggie soup and veggie stew. Okay. Um, grab some veggie soup. And then I want you to get this built. Since we've got alloy in there before it all gets sent off into this area. Okay, now I can... No research is queued. That's fine. I think that means that Umiar will dive into cooking, if I recall. You enjoyed that, right? Uh, nope. You're only interested in combat. Okay. But you're decent at it. You can... Three is... Is advanced enough to do quite a few of the meals. Okay. So this is Rita searching the remains of the military ship for useful things. A bit tricky. The whole thing is very corroded and falling apart. Still, I found one of the ship's many armories and pulled out a functioning high-tech weapon. Wonderful. What are you bringing back? Ooh, she did it. Her first real gun sniper. She kept bringing back all those laser pistols. Good job, Rita. Okay, we running? We're running. Um, orbital radio. Time for space to know about us. We could build an orbital radio uh, desk. 
and connect it to one or more orbital antennas to monitor for space communications and to speak with passerby spaceships. Of course, we will need a dedicated landing spot where rescue pods or supply crates can land. Yeah, this sets up a whole string. Oops, bump my mic. Connor, what you doing? Whole string of, of events and necessary equipment. Um, you're idling, right? Yeah. Um, we're good there. These guys are mostly done. 92%. What is there for Kana to be doing? Idling doesn't really benefit her, to my knowledge. It doesn't give her relaxation. It doesn't, uh, give her happiness. She's just kind of in limbo. So, I guess... Well, we should go play some really loud music and wake everybody up. We just got the Tachyon source. So Edmund has got, found his uh, his place. I found the remains of an ancient ship of unknown origin. Tachyon radiation is being emitted from a broken terminal. I couldn't interact with it, but I see inscriptions in an alien language. Re report what you can and return home. Unlocks ancient language for research. Interesting. I guess we now have a new research. Uh, let's see here. Ancient language. We have enough data from the crashed alien ship to study their language. Enables reading of an ancient language and detection of other tachyon sources. Hmm. Let's see what this uh, opens up for us. So, we'll work on that one. Well, let's get started on that one. I was going to wait for the windmill to get built and see if that opens up the the uh, next generation of, of wind turbines, but don't need the synthetic armor now. Don't need laser pistols. We've got the carbon there. Well, I don't see using it. Searchlights. Oh, that's interesting. Let's pop you in. Freezers. Nanotube printing. Hay sausage. Hay cloth. Why is this not available? Research nanotube printing. Okay. Emergency rations and chemical cloth synthesis. Let's work with these guys right now. Though, let's... This is only one day, so let's pop him in first. Okay. Go that route. And we could get that done even faster if we were to put... Uh, oh, who was it now? It was Edmund and Simon. They both... Uh, Kana too? What's her intelligence? No, intellect. No, it was Simon, who is a six, and Edmund, who is a four. We put both of them on the other research desks, which here and here, they would all accumulate and go through the five days worth on that alien language a lot faster. But we still have lots of game, lots of the series left. Don't need to rush it. Let each of them go ahead and continue doing what they would normally do, like building us a uh, concrete fortification. Wow, you see that happening. Or more snowmen. <laughs> so are we actually using this? We're really not. Let's put ore out here as well. Um, crafting, it already is, okay. And I guess silicon if we were to, and fuel if we were to run out of room otherwise, but I don't think that's a problem. But that was our emergency backup storage when we were getting too cluttered in here to do anything. Um, we're running. We are. It is 5 in the morning. Still dark. Still nighttime. Winter. And these are still... Oh, they all got refueled. <laughs> and they're all burning out. Okay. Um, who gets the honor? Connor, you up. Tailoring. You. Umiar. Fullness is fine. Your rest is done. Pause. You come on down here and handle these guys and wherever the last one is. Uh, here? Torch. There we go. Turn all those off for me. Con is tailoring. Paula is sleeping. Yeah, she's about done too. Really need... Let's see. Let's get you relaxing first. Then you can get something to eat and then make food all day. Rita's on her way back. She's in pretty good shape. Simon uh, got his rest in. And he... That's right, we had him do this. When he's done with that, he's going to be starving. He'll grab some food and 
hopefully take care of himself. Um, Edmund's on his way back. Kana is in pretty good shape. She is tailoring. Umayar is down there handling torches, and he's, he's in good shape. So we're fine. Carter's going to build this guy. Let's watch what happens. Let's tap into here. We're plus 72 right now. With these guys up and running. Yeah, they're 20. So the sun is officially up. So plus 72. Let's see what happens when... Oh, we're running too. So we just turned off. So we must have 50% of the batteries. So now we're plus 22. So without the generator, we're plus 42. So we're adding 20 at this moment. And it's finding the wind over here. Nice. So at this moment it is bringing in the same amount as a solar panel. Which you think would not be working as well covered in snow. But it's it's rated at 20 and it's bringing in 20. Yeah. I think it was RimWorld. They went so far as to... You had to go out and uncover these guys to get 100% efficiency in the winter time. As well as you could clear pathways so that your walk speed would be quicker. Yeah. But then RimWorld had years and years and years of improvements. So they had time to think of all those little details. So Carter's going to go off and scavenge. So did we ever find out what he got yesterday? I don't remember the pop-up on that. I wonder if he only got partially through it. I don't see anything on the ground. I don't even know if this is the one he was scavenging. It is the closest one. Read his back. Read his back. She is harvesting. These guys popped in. Those over there are waiting for her. She's in decent shape. She brought back the gun. And... Oh, I see. I see the symbol and the gun. I maybe think they were two different things. And her extra food. Alright, so who needs one? Kana could use one. Your... Let's see. How did we do this last time? Manage. Activities. Hunt. There we go. So Umiar has one. So Edmund does. Simon is the next one skill-wise. And I would really like to find a new... Or make a new pulse rifle. Paulette's has got to be wearing out soon. Paulette. Pulse rifle. They are holding up pretty good now compared to when we first started the previous series of this. And by w one year in, there were there was only this much left. We're just wearing out simply by holding them. So that seems to have really calmed down. They've got that dialed in a little bit better. Um, Simon is over here. He's going to need food handling. So he's on his last one. So with that handling job, he likes meat pie, right? Meat pie. So Simon, when you're done, grab a meat pie. And then I want you to come over and grab this. Equip. Railgun sniper. Okay. So that is most of us. And I'm thinking I want two of us with the pulse rifles, if we can. Stunning them seems to be quite powerful. You know, hold them in position back over here while the others can continue shooting at whatever it is. I like that idea. Okay, Rita's transporting. Let's, Rita, let's cut your transporting. T I really can't. If you'd come up in the middle, I could have. And, you know, don't take the stairs and go quicker, okay? Okay. So, you'll just, you'll just do you. Scavenge 37 scrap metal. Not a very good haul. Uh, Carter, are you able to stick around? You, well, relaxation's hurting, but the rest of it's okay. Why don't you scavenge some more? Maybe you get more scrap metal and bring it all in at once. Edmund is still out. Simon is... commented the recent beef berry harvest with Umear. Well, it wasn't much of a harvest. She only got six. Um... Oh, you're getting your rifle, and you're dropping off your your laser pistol. That's right. Then you really need to take a break. Yeah, there's our bone crusher. <laughs> Simon, why don't you hop in here and sit back and relax for a while? Maybe talk to Umiar. 
who is researching, he's about a fifth of the way done with the searchlights. 20%, yep. Rita is harvesting those. And here's Edmund, who's going to not belch out anything. Okay, risk of meltdown, but he's going to go cut wood anyway. Edmund, why don't you eat fruitcake? That will help you out a lot. Wow. And you're going to bed, dude. <laughs> Thank you for your dedication, but last thing I need is for you to completely fall apart on me while you're out there trying to cut a tree. Though, Rita would be good to get her physical up even further. Where are you at now, by the way? Physical three, almost four. Yeah, let's do that next. Um, what do you need, though? Your rest is kind of hurting. You liked meat pies. Let's have Rita when you are done with that. You're hauling right now? You're transporting the 14. Uh, something made a noise over here. Why don't you... There are no f meat pies. Still not? Oh, one just got delivered. Grab a meat pie. That takes care of your fullness. Also boosts your happiness. You can handle the rest. Come on out over here and cut some trees for me. Cut four of those. Any left? And one. Okay, that will finish off your day. And that might be enough to put you into level four physical. Who else needs my guidance? That's what I kind of feel like I'm doing. They, they kind of know what they want, but what they, what they need to be doing. But then they go idle and, yeah, I lose my confidence in them. But Kana is over here with her beanie on, sewing something that looks like a newspaper. <laughs> See it from this angle. Who else is in here? Paulette is cooking. Oh, no, nope, changed her mind. Just throw that those ingredients on the floor. Let's go get a different one. Wonder what caused that. Rita is eating. She's got her. That was. The previous armor. What was that armor? Right there. That is synthetic vest. Okay. And you didn't get armor like the rest of them did. When you're done, let's have you grab a helmet. Right there. Okay. Otherwise, we were kind of snooping and spying on people. So there's Umair. And doing his research in his cool vest. And I never really got the sense he put a shirt on. Did you ever put a shirt on? Let's do it this way. <clears throat> you do have a shirt. It just, it, apparently it's sleeveless. Click away. There. Okay. So, we'll just leave you alone. Who else is in here? That is Paulette. She's going for her second round of foods. And that one she's going to cook. Rita is... Cutting. Oh, okay. That's why she's not going to grab her helmet yet. Yep, that's fine. So, claim to be better at darts than Rita. Uh, that's not going to win you points with Rita, I'll tell you that. Are you like anybody yet? Are you still like Kana a little bit? I don't think we're going to get a wedding. Now, Kana is just, she's, still, she's done with you, boy. Yep. Edmund. Simon. Rita. These guys are just not happy. Though we do have a little tiny bit of Paulette and Carter. Orbital Radio is done. That's where I was heading at one time. Scavenge 85. Carter, you are already delivered it and you're back again. This is the last round for this one, right? Five out of six. Is there a six out of six? Or does this mean, you know, this is the six out of six? I think that means five are already completed. So he's completing number six. Um... Orbital radio. Where would all of that be? Probably science where it's flagging my attention. So we've got an orbital radio. Radio. <laughs> That's the antenna. Okay. So the radio, so we can call out the antenna, so we can track, get a hold of somebody, and the landing spot, so they can come in. Yeah. I guess we're going to need to be out of the compound to pull this one off. 
requires very strong support floor. Okay, so we have to build a probably a concrete deck to sit this on. And this could be done during times when there are no attacks. Illness Umayar. Okay, let's... You are going in to be treated. Paulette is cooking. When she is done, we'll have her take care of you. And she's just about there anyway. Right there. Okay, just leave it there. Go on over here and heal Umiar. Oh, already in queue. You already got it figured out. Okay, fine. Kana's working on another helmet. Edmund is holding his head and constructing a floor. Oh, we can turn these on now. That's right. Construct you. Construct you. We pretty much... We have the beginnings of a roof. <laughs> Don't ask me how that's holding up there. <laughs> um, what are you... Oh, all the parts have already been delivered. It's purple. So was that one. Okay. So we get these guys built. We get them fueled. Speaking of fuel, let's get these reloaded. Who best to do that? Simon tends to be the best one because he can go so quickly. He's transporting concrete that he just made. Good. And in fact, that's kind of the last of the concrete. Where are you dumping that? Oh, you just magically kind of teleported it in place. Edmund is sitting. He's pretty worse for wear right now. He needs to relax. Yeah. He just gets a little too uptight. You go and do that for a while. Uh, Simon is still transporting to something. Oh, they weren't purple yet. That's right. Now you're going to go play darts. We need a little more over here. Six more cement. So what does that mean? These have all been... Oh, there's still 10 over there. So we're still short 25. Including the 10 we have, I'm pretty sure. So Simon, you need food, you need relaxation, and you need to go to bed. Okay. And this 35 minutes or something like that. So this is our first night. Yeah. That attack in the night and how long it took to clean it all up. I felt like I'd gotten to finish recording the episode by the time I, you know, turned the recording back on. <laughs> Oh, so Simon, after you eat and sleep and all of that, where are you right now? Simon, you are transporting. Why don't you... Oh, you drop off over there. Then you should eat some... Simon. Simon. Meat pie? I'm trying to remember who, what Simon's... Yeah, meat pie for Simon. That'll give you a good boost. And then I'd say go to sleep get you to bed. So Simon, your sleep is over here. And then when you wake up, you'll be in decent shape. Yeah, fullness and rest will be done. You can get back out here and make some more concrete. So, Illness Carter. One, two, three. And then you can make more alloy. And we should be good. So, uh, Carter is in bed. Paulette is transporting cooking and then you're transporting why don't you instead well I'll just add it to your list that way nobody else will get to it Carter can sleep anyway so it's not hurting him okay so Kana is transporting an unfinished item what does that mean you are an unfinished carbon helmet why did you do that because you want to go make shoes instead. Don't quite get that one. Ta okay, the shoes take what? Leggings. It's all just carbon, so it's not a mixture of alloys or anything else. It's just carbon. And we still have 200. Now, I don't know what interrupted that one. It's kind of odd. Oh, unless one is ahead of the other. I didn't really notice the order there. So you stopped making the... Healing five, good. You stopped making the helm because boots popped in ahead of it and you had to go backwards to there. You must have had a reason to reevaluate your orders. 
and yeah, recalculated your life. Edmund is constructing a flamethrower. Nice. So we could still send somebody else out. Edmund is... He needs food and... Actually, his rest is fine. Interesting. Let's get the flamethrower built. Carter can build the other ones. Then you grab some food. Uh, anything. Buttermelon pie. And then we will set you up to take off one more time. And do what this time? Expeditions. Let's pause. So we have an explorer. Only seven hours to go see what else is out there. We haven't gotten any more ancient alien ship. We can go back? Ancient language must be researched. Ah, okay. Stop that. So we've got all of these guys, which we have our own spaceship debris to research or to, to go and scavenge too. So I don't know if there's much benefit to going back here compared to what we already have. Supercomputer debris is the CPUs, and we still have quite a few in stock, I believe. So I think it's Explore. But I don't want to do that yet until you've eaten. I want to make sure that uh, it doesn't interrupt your your list. All right, so reach construction six. That's good. So Carter's sleeping, Simon's sleeping, Paulette's sleeping. So Carter must have been treated. You, yeah, you have immunity now. Good. So Simon, let's kind of go through the list. Umayar has immunity. Kana, so uh, pneumonia pretty much swept the, the encampment. So Edmund has immunity, 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 euphoria, and immunity. So Paulette, what are you inspired by high happiness that these survivors will perform better for a while? Plus 25%. Okay, so let's get you a good night's sleep and you'll be in great shape tomorrow. Edmund is eating, and then I want Edmund to take off on a trip. 30 fuel, 30 fuel. Everything's been refueled. Good. Let's take off on this one. Explore. Edmund, not Simon, and send you off. You are eating, then you'll get the command. Carter's going to get something to eat. Then he will most likely... Yeah, he was off scavenging, I think, because there was nothing to build. Anything else we need to be building after this? Well, I guess the... Uh, eventually, all of the, you know, orbital stuff. We could probably get this guy going. What is What did that require? Science. 50 metal alloy. These guys need 100 metal alloy and power cells. Before I spend power cells on these, I'm going to spend them on our pulse rifles. You just need a really heavy duty floor. Okay. That we could lay out in advance. But motion sensor. Paulette finally got pneumonia. Mm -hmm. All right, motion sensors and a siren. That is the motion sensor we've already got. You, motion sensor. Okay, never mind. So defenses, um, flamethrower. We could put in a, not the flamethrower, put in a missile launcher. Interesting. And build a little pad for him. He can be most anywhere. I've always kind of pictured him right in this area. I think might be better a little further out like here. If they do run the gauntlet and get in, I don't want them to go take it out. Let them pick on something else. Hmm. Yeah, I think motion sensor over here. Let you run and let's think about a floor. Housing floor doesn't need to be much really doesn't this one could be wood wood is 700 in stock we have been building up our physical in exchange for for uh, lots of extra wood so if I were to go here yeah just right there and two just in case I oh, didn't work in case you have to stand next to it to repair it wood there to there and ignore it. Okay, so we'll set him on top. So what about missing over here? We scavenged some emergency meals and we scavenged that scrap metal. 
Edmund made it to six. We research searchlights. Ah, okay. So targeting in the dark is difficult, even for automated systems. We require a device capable of detecting movement and illuminating potential threats within its range. That could also just be done with spotlights triggered by this guy. That's kind of the same thing, right? Light, searchlights. Okay, so one CPU core takes more power. Speaking of power, it's five in the morning. Generator is not running. That little addition there was enough to keep us going. We're at 71%. Wow, pretty good. Now, is my theory proven correct? Did we get graphene? We did not. No higher tech wind turbines. Okay, and wind turbine is supplying 20 of 40. So I guess we're capable of 40 and we're running at half. Didn't show that before. It showed just a 20 there, right? Think it did. Hmm. But it does seem to be quite dependable. More so than the complaints I heard when the game first came out. But I know they had repaired that or you know, re-majiggered it. Um, do we put in a second one is what I'm wondering right now. It's nice to have that non-sun um, dependent power. I think we do. Because, you know, suddenly things turn dark just like that. That is weird. The snow is probably affecting the lighting. Now that the sun is officially coming up, it switched over to dawn lighting. Um, power, you, let's pop in one more. That is a 25. Boy, we need to get some more ore soon, don't we? We do. Okay, we'll pop you in. And that'll be it for the wind turbines for now. So we have some wind power, we have some solar power, we have some gas power. Carter's constructing a floor. Uh, oh, this floor over here. We have wood for that. Okay. <clears throat> Concrete's being made there. Some more alloy over here. We're transporting some of that concrete right now, which is enough to get this finished. So Carter should be, once he's done building a snowman, he should be finishing up all of this. Any more snowmen having been built? No? And we'll take a little pause here and watch Carter do this as the sun rises and just see how this goes. So Edmund is off discovering something new. Kana is tailoring shoes or boots. Umayar is working on that ancient language. Simon, he's just off doing all kinds of piddly stuff all over the place. And he's eating. Looks like porridge. Rita is eating. There she is, getting herself a buttermilk and pie. Paulette is meditating. What does that mean? She's appreciating a shroom torch. And Carter, how much of a bonus did you get for that? Made a snowman, plus eight. Look at all of your plus 18s. You don't have any more room for happiness. <laughs> oh, it's at 66%, but you're forecasted to 100. Okay. So you right now are officially just kind of idling, aren't you? Yeah. Why don't you come on over here and do some constructing? In fact, why don't you can... Meteor Rain. I was going to have you go build this, but you just go build what you want. i got to keep my, my eyes and ears open for meteors coming right in on us. And see if I can get anybody moved just off to the side in time. Oh, the ominous music. Yeah. We are recording, right? Cool. Oh, that feeling when you get halfway through a video and look over and it doesn't say you're recording. Oh, I've done that a couple of times. Just your stomach drops out from under you. We are still harvesting in the winter. Last year we couldn't do that. Though I don't think we had these guys planted last time. Apparently they are a cold weather... These guys too. Cold weather uh, vegetable. Wish these guys would grow. Growth of 2% only. They are not a cold weather vegetable. Oh, that's a... There he is. Which way is he coming in? There, he's going that way. 
Oh, hard to control it. Where'd you land? Yeah, I missed it. Okay. Any more? Not yet. Okay. Carter is working on the turret. And I'm hearing noises that aren't real. Nope. It's our own noises. Oh, boom. In the, in the distance. So, Simon, you you got everything uh, relit. Good. Uh, fuel. That's what I wanted you to do next. So, Simon, you are in great shape. You're transporting some of that. Oh, you're reloading these guys. Okay. Do that. And then I want you to get all... W wish I could just say ferment all. But I don't believe I can. I wish you would bring out 70 bug meat one trip, but at least we're near where the bug meat is stored, so that's that's helpful. Okay, so you are building... Oh, there it is. Where are you? Oh, you're coming in. You're going past us. Okay. Yeah, you're all the way over here. Okay. Exploration complete. Alright, what did you find? I looked for some time, but found nothing of interest. Really? Disappointing. Now you need to pop in and say, Oh, but I also discovered an ore mine. No? Okay. Hmm. Is that wind? Or is that another roar? No, no roar. That's wind. Alright, so you're transporting your eight. <laughs> yeah. Well, you did you ever get to your physical four? You're so close. Okay, how you doing? Ah, eh, you're pretty pretty rough there. You only need relaxation though. So Rita, when you're done, come on over here and sit and then play. And then I want you to spend the rest of your day taking out this grove over here. Cut seven of those and eight of those. And did we ever pick up the last of our... No, we didn't. You're still here. Umar Reach Intellect 9. Wow. Okay. And Searchlights will... Let's... Let's look at that one last time. So you... Where am I? There I am. So, if anything... I don't know if there is an advantage of this compared to this. The yellow which is the sky motion sensor because as far as i'm concerned when this guy triggers which we've still got to set up which will yeah this guy would be the first one to put on there we could put lights on there so when he triggers these turn on and all the lights turn on it would be nice to have a photo cell to but only during the day to, or during the night time do they turn on. And then I guess we turn off research desk and a few of the other things to conserve power for what's being used here. Yeah, little by little we'll get all that going. But I think uh, floodlights turning on instead of a spotlight. I think I'll, that's the route I that makes more sense to me. Um, meteor rain is still happening. I don't hear any roaring around my studio, which comes in in stereo and usually sneaks up behind me. <laughs> oh, the noises I've heard in this room. Tell you, seven days to die, that is quite the game with a, a theater sound system surrounding you. That's, it's, yeah, there, I heard it, I didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, that's an experience you, you need to try at least once. Okay, we're almost done over here. Let's watch this guy pop in. There you are. Achievement. Tower Defense 101. Aha, uh -huh, we are bona fide. So, you, let's think this through now. You, we set to active, active circuit 3. So, 3 will be active when we find something. 
So you will be circuit three, which means consuming 40. Okay, no threats are detected. So should I reverse this? I don't know. I kind of want... Uh, I want when he triggers for this to turn on. So no threats are going is when he should be on there. Let's just call you a four and put you on as a four. Oh, I didn't actually switch you yet. That always catches me. I switch it and I think, okay, I'm done. I'm over here and handle. Now this should turn off if I've got my logic right. And walk over there and click and you're off until this guy says that threats are detected. Then you'll turn on. So that while there are no threats detected, you, circuit four, you, circuit four, what do we want here? Right there. And what else is a kind of a power hog? These really aren't that big. You're a 20, <clears throat> you're a 10. We don't have any electric smelters. We're not going to touch our refrigeration. Is that it? I mean, we don't have a lot of power needs. We haven't set up the, uh, the place to require that. That's kind of it. Okay. So, Umayar, can you... Handle this one, and then handle this one. Okay, so that now that there are no threats, this should still be powered. It's not. Why is Forbin deactivated? Changing to four, that has not been done yet. Ah, who's out here? Well, Lumiar, since you've been bothered anyway, come handle this one. Now, let's see if this logic works. And Edmund, when are you going to get back from having not accomplished anything on your trip? Yeah, we, oh. Well, I guess that was wind, because this meteor rain is done. But boy, I could hear a, a roaring something behind me. That's the sun over there. Okay. I guess the wind's coming in for the afternoon. Rita's cutting. She'll spend the rest of her day doing that. That was noon when I told her to. It took her quite a while to do those things. Uh, to rest and relax, that's right. Carter is constructing a floor. Whoa, a lot of thunder. Does that in the winter time to signify when a snowstorm's coming in. Not a thunder and lightning, or at least it hasn't yet in the winter. Okay, you're done there. And... You're... Oh, constructing a roof. I was going to say, we, we, we did get this roof done. But, yeah, it's this roof over here. Okay. Um, can I have you construct this roof? You already are. You're going to get the materials. Okay. So turn you off. You turn that on. Okay. So inactive four. When threats are not detective, detected, this is on now. Okay. So when that thing triggers, these two should turn off, and anything we have on three should turn on, including a spotlight. So, or not a spotlight, but a, I guess that would be here, a floodlight. Let's think about that. What does it need? Light. It needs just 10. We've got 37. Let's think about this. Um... Problem is, if I put them through here, we're going to wipe out our guns. So how many guns are we going to put in? If I put it here, if I put it there, then you can still hit everything. I'm assuming that it's taking this into account. Okay, so if we were to put in a gun, let's see, copy... 
you can only go to there. Okay. So it's every fourth one. So I could go there. Oops. And copy. And I could go there. That's three. That's pretty good. Let's see that. That gets us one down each bay. I think I'm happy with that. This apparently is in the way of doing anything over here, which is odd. It's, well, I guess these things can go 360. Okay. So that means this could be here, and this could be, not construct, copy. Could be here. But is it needed? We're already lighting up. Let's look at this again at night. Okay. So we have insufficient of 73 now. Um, let's pause you. 23. Okay. And they're cooking, right? They're just coming in. Okay. Simon, you have been working on fermentation barrels. Umair is about to melt down from... Now he's going to get something to eat. What has he been up to? I don't know. I mean, I told him to go switch this, but that was long ago. So I don't know why he wasn't back in there researching. Unless, unless I told him accidentally to do something instead of somebody else. Carter is still working on that roof. That's fine. Oh, this is the only roof that's built. That's why there's no snow here. <laughs> okay, so when this is done, you are going to be... I can't tell you which circuit to be on. Okay. So we'll have to switch that later. And you cannot shoot out that way or this way because of the towers. And you can't get around the end of this guy. I like how it shows you, you know, where the blind spots are. It's, it's a nice feature. Um, searchlight research, you can get rid of that. Insufficient 13. Okay, so Simon is transporting. You are delivering. You're going a long way to deliver that, aren't you? Let's get concrete, five, alloy. Let's get alloy. What's what's left on our on our ore? One hundred. So we can go one more round. So Simon, you are in decent enough shape. Let's get you some food. Let's grab a meat pie, and then into the night, let's smelt ore. And that'll be the end of your assignment for this episode. Okay. Lumiar was in rough shape. Now he's he's in better shape. He got something to eat. He should get some relaxation in, so it'll be decent for tomorrow. Why don't you go and do that for the next episode? Kana, you as well. You are working on a helmet. Why don't you go ahead and sit and relax? Maybe you two can have a bit of a conversation. Edmund is still gone. Simon is assigned... Rita, what are you up to? You are cutting, and ten more to cut. I'm going to have to stop you here in a little while. Paulette, you double-click. You're cooking. You need to be eating. So I guess when you're done, grab some buttermelon pie. Carter, what you up to? You are constructed a tilted floor lamp. A tilted floor lamp. Okay, a flood lamp. Flood lamp. That, that makes a little more sense. You could use some food. You're constructing, meaning you're just bringing over the materials that we have, right? I got you. You only need 10 alloy. Interesting. Where did Simon deliver the other one? Right here, CPU core. What are we doing for CPU cores right now? We still have six. That's good. Okay. Rita reached physical four. That was the goal. Okay, so Rita, why don't you instead... All wood in, and that's the end of your day. Great. Kerr Edmund is back, and he's got to go construct that roof. <laughs> yeah, you do that. You're, you'll be fine. Bang those together. Carter's going to put this guy together, and then we'll set him up on circuit three. How long does this take? Not too long. Let's pop in a roof here and see what's happening. Wow, interesting. Off, on. There we go. Game had to think about that. Lights are on. Okay. 
Self-destruct alert. That's not something that I care to ever get a warning about again, but... Wow, okay. Um, I'm wondering if we want a floodlight right here shining into this area. I think we do. And... Let's play with floodlights while it's dark. Okay, let's let's do this first, though. That's okay. A large spaceship debris crashed nearby while emitting long-range alert about impending self-destruct. Apparently, self-destruct systems has activated during the fall. The camp is too far from the crash site to be affected, but there may be something worth salvaging there. Hmm. That usually gives us like three days. What is that? Okay, and. Grab a balloon. We still have time to go to that, too. You self-destruct right here. Oh, not much time at all. Two days. Hmm. Is Edmund just got back. He needs some relaxation. He'll rest on the way. How far away was that? I always forget to notice that detail. You are 11 hours away. Hmm. Rita, you're just coming back from all that work you need to eat. You can rest on the way. Let's make this a Rita job. Let's do that. You, well, when you're done carrying, if I just give you the order, you'll drop all that wood. Um, you liked meat pie? I think you did. Eat meat pie. And if I catch you in time, I'll send you off. In fact, I'll... Ah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So you'll do that. <clears throat> Edmund, last one. Just just do it, man. Just do it. Carter, you got that going. We need to set you up on circuit three. Though I wanted to do this before we call this episode done. So lighting and floodlight. So we could put one more right there. Is it needed? We could lighting and just a regular one. It doesn't broadcast out there, but it shows us off really good. Which kind of tells me that it allows the bugs to hit us, you know, the projectiles, a little bit better. They'll have less misses, so maybe I don't want to do that. Lighting, so I think it is these guys. It doesn't seem to light up that well, what's behind us. But over here seemed important yeah I think that might be a biggie so if we were to pop you in there that lights up these two rows pretty good and then later the entrance maybe I'd like to get something out over here kind of get them on their way in we should be able to Railgun sniper anything right out here from this area where we'll be standing. But I think for now it's here. Okay, we'll do that. And I need to get somebody... Carter, actually. I think I need you to do that now. Can you switch this guy over? Handle you. And then come on back in and grab that buttermelon pie you were so looking forward to. Okay. So we need to keep an eye on Rita to send her off to that uh, countdown, the self-destruct countdown. And turn that off. She can now handle, I think, medium-sized hauling jobs. Which is pretty much where the other ones are, too. I think four, five, and six. I don't know if seven counts as heavy or not. Or we got to get out to eight. She's just on her way in. Yeah, she's holding her head while carrying wood. No, I'm wrong. He's just carrying logs. Okay. So Carter's on his way in. Edmund is appreciating that shroom torch. Our self-defense fortifications, I think they're pretty much done. At least the physical structure. Got our roof on. Got our, our standing area over here. We've got our, our raised platform for shooting. We've got one of our flamethrowers in. We've got the platform available here for this guy. Missile launcher. And we're going to need to get power in there. Let's pop you in, but put you on pause for the moment. We need power out here for all of these things. 
power at the moment is right there, and I don't know if, you're, if it's going to let us run them through. Oh, it can. We can get the hot air balloon through here. Okay. So, I can get out as far... Whoa. Did they increase the range? I think they did. That's huge. I'll take it. I think that was a little... Uh, little change in the, uh, the last update. <clears throat> I can go right there. Where's the gate? Doesn't seem to affect the gate. Okay. And that seems to catch everything in this bay without taking out future space for whatever I want to add over there. Alright. You're going to be there. Put those two in. That should bring this online. You're already turned off. So with that, power-wise, we are at 88%. These wind turbines are topping us off. Great. And I think I made a mistake earlier. It meant that we were above 70%. I had shifted this from 50 to 70. Okay. So it's only below 70 that this guy runs nowadays. Didn't make sense after I thought about it to <clears throat> always... Leave us at 50% as a bare minimum. We should be. We should have a little more cushion in the bank than that. So Rita is getting to eat. Oh, you dropped off wood. You're heading in here. 2300. I don't know if it's going to let me. It might. Let's find out. Expedition, self-destruct, Rita, send. Will she go to sleep after eating or will she go out to the balloon? She will have a full bar here, and still pretty good on relaxation. The full bar in fullness should bring her happiness up quite a bit. Eating at a table, and nope, you didn't eat. That's what I was worried about. Okay, so Rita, you need to eat. Where did your meat pie go? I don't know. All right, do that again. Yeah, sometimes it waits for its turn. Sometimes it shuts down all the of your plans and and you've got to do it over again so let's get you actually sitting and eating then we'll try that again okay this guy expedition we are ah okay it is in your queue then or at least it will be as soon as you're done eating Connor's going to sleep everyone else is sleeping Feels like we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, we're good. So Rita is on an expedition. Great. Are you going to... You're not going to grab extra meals. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> so we are one in the morning. And... I think that's a wrap. Yep. Yeah. Everyone's asleep. Rita's taken off. We've got at least one more episode before another attack comes in, so one more episode to get ourselves geared up and hopefully this area ready for our next attack. Once we prove that this works, probably start dismantling this. Ah, moving traps. Oh. Let's do that real quick. Just so I I, I already forgot about it, so let's let's trap. We've got 700 scrap metals. That was a a good quantity building up toward this. Let's make sure that they don't make their way in. Can I? Oh, I can shift and hold. Okay, like that. Or does it do it anyway? Oh, I don't need to hold the shift. Okay. And something like that. <clears throat> That's interesting. These are on the half lines, and these are in the centers. How did that happen? Copy. Because I get to choose where they begin. On a corner? Wow. You can really fine-tune this thing. Interesting. So they are going to most likely cut the corner, go diagonal across. Cut the corner. Cut the corner. So if we were to do... Oh, from here to there. Oh, i got to click twice like that and copy from like there 
to there. And then I suppose there to there. With, let's go one more group of them over here. Copy like that. Okay. So we'll build these. They're the places where I think we're going to get the most bang for our buck, though I should put a few more right over here. Yeah, now that I can kind of see what I'm doing. And you copy. We're not on centers here, but we'll just do something like that. Okay. Then we could transport all of these pre-built ones, one by one, to fill in all the other voids. That's going to take a long time to move them. This ought to build out fast because they can bring the building supplies for a whole block of them at once and get them all built quickly. Whereas these are going to be one at a time, individual trips and a lot of walking. So we'll do a combination of the two. So with that, Rita is taken off. And there she goes. We'll watch her leave. <clears throat> Something like that, and <laughs> I'm going to bed myself, so I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.